standards. And do I consider 18 and a half or 19 over penetration? No. I don't even consider 21 inches over penetration. Again, worry more about the things that in a realistic thing, not punch and paper, in a realistic defensive gun use, what's going to over um, do more damage is full velocity, not less than 10%, 15%, 8%, drop into the ground. Usually actually find, found in the back skin or back clothing. Um, perhaps better than these even in performance against two-legged uh, predators for... Uh, incapacitation. I think this sig, this the V crown looks uh, absolutely wonderful, and that 200 grain gold dot looks really good. Perhaps better than this. Perhaps even better. Maybe is 180 grain uh, XTP by Underwood. You see the regular 180 grain XTP there was the one above it, and that's good. Perhaps the Underwood loading a little hotter, even better, or V munitions a little better, even though it doesn't have 100% weight retention. Based on what I know of 357 4 inch barrel back in the day, jacketed soft, uh, jet, uh, soft point, hollow point, I believe the V munitions at like 1350 feet per second, 180 grain XTP or an Underwood would do really, really well. Any of these in 10 millimeter would do really, really well, given if you're a very good shooter that just practices every week and can control it. Now most people are not that, especially in today's very lazy, uh, lackadaisical, don't train, uh, follow the crowd kind of kind of people that there are. So is 9mm good enough for most people? Well yeah, it probably is in most cases. In most cases. Uh, is it good enough for law enforcement? At least with a 4-inch barrel, yeah. You're not seeing law enforcement running around with 3.1-inch barreled shields. In a 4-inch barrel with plus P ammo from at least one of the top three or four HST, Golden Saber, uh, Gold Dot, and some kind of Ranger, Ranger T, XST, uh, Winchester, you'll see... Um, that probably be good enough for most law enforcement and is what they're going to, but most of that's about money and recoil management for smaller statured and female uh, people, people, and even guys too. They're just not as, they don't, have never done a push-up in their life or been in a fight in their life, uh, etc. Health standards, and this goes with what the military is saying and everything. Obviously, health standards in America have gone way, 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 way down. Um... You want to pay attention definitely to Gary Roberts' approve list. Here I think is 11 rounds in 9mm, or more 9mm, I think 11 and 40, and a few less than 45. But this is the approve list. See if it's on the approve list, or, it's, or if it's at least similar to something on the approve list by Gary Roberts. There's my Golden Saber Bonded 124 plus P. Gives more penetration than, slightly than even the HST 124 grip P and way more than the Golden Saber or the Gold Dot, at least if we're not um, as worried about going through auto glass. Um, though the bonded will, um, whereas the unbonded may or may not, it probably sabots and de deposits the 90 grain 32 caliber inner uh, lead slug deeper. This is good compiled by manufacturers. Um, this guy put this together. This is really good. It's hold, uh, hosted at AR15.com. Excuse my voice, guys. But again, this is data from manufacturers. Do you always want to go by that? Uh, I'll take it with a grain of salt and try to very verify that by some of the better testers. Quickly looking here, what am I going to look for? I'm going to look for the most penetration, a horny DXTP, but maybe not enough expansion. Uh, let's go here. 124 grain plus P Ranger bonded, 18.2 inches with good expansion in four layer clothing, but maybe too little penetration uh, in bare. So if you're in a lighter place, maybe not as solid, um, but you know, probably probably a good round. HST, let's look here. 14.65. That's a Barnes TAC XPD. A little better than that. Let's go to the 155 grain gold dot. 165 Ranger T, etc. and so forth. Um, 
a lot of 45 hollow points under penetrate. So that's one reason I, I do carry 9 millimeters now. I may carry 40, 45, 10 millimeter in the future. So you have to be more selective even with 45. It's contrary to what most people at a gun store are going to tell you with their FUD lure. Okay. Though momentum, like we've said, going through bone definitely helps. Here's a comparison of Golden Saber and HST. Again, I'll just point out that the Golden Saber 124 Plus P does really, really well. 15.9 through four layer denim. And they've changed the standard now from denim to denim and fleece and uh, heavy cotton and light cotton, four layers meshed together. So FBI did change their protocol. Um, 55 expansion, pretty good. And that's just slightly better, in my opinion, than the 124 plus PHST. I wouldn't really uh, care if it's bonded, unbonded, um, unless you're law enforcement. Eh, I kind of like the bonded Golden Saber um, because it can kind of do everything and probably penetrate even farther than the Gold Dots, even though I know a lot of law enforcement loves their Gold Dots. Here's that, again, backing up what I said by the best guy in the business, Gary Roberts, the, the 165 grain 4D caliber HST, 18 inches and four layer denim with uh, cover diameter of 60. Okay, so that's something a 9mm gets close, gets close, um, but perhaps not in his testing, as we just saw. And his testing's better than, you know, the guys that do it in clear ballistics. Uh, interesting read here will keep you up all night long. Gunthorpe.com. Terminal bis Ballistics as viewed in a morgue. He's a proponent of the 40 and 45, way over 9mm. 9mm gets the job done most of the time, but he's seen too, way too many that veer off, get deflected by sternums, ribs, etc., or just stop short of the heart. So, guys, that's all the data. That's where to find it. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this was long winded, but if you're cons considering stuff, is it good enough or do you want the best but then ammo capacity I think it's more important if we're talking single stack 